And to whom do I owe the pleasure this evening? You may come out of your hiding spot now. There is no use trying to pretend. I've known you were there since I first returned to this tent. Even as I poured my tea, indulged in its fresh fragrance. I've been aware of you all this time. No response. I suggest you come out now before I make you. Trust me, you wouldn't want that. It's good that you obeyed me. Otherwise, I'd have to drag you out by the head. Come on, then. Come a little closer to me. Yes, just stand in front of my table. Do you see this map splayed out before me? It's rather indecorous, having to drink tea while studying a map. Do you know why, little mole? That's right. I am occupied with demonic threats. And the leader of the demon is... Very good. You see, your leader is very close to someone who has dealt a bad hand to one of my most valuable generals. Are you familiar with the name? Alanis. Yes. Hmm. You would be. See, as you are involved in enslaving him. Oh yes, little mole. I know. I know a great deal more than you could possibly imagine. No, I am a busy god. I have many matters to settle, and revenge is not something I go out of my way to seek. I simply do not have the time for it. However, if it were to come to my hand, do you think me moral enough to abstain? Vengeance is a very strong tool in attaining power. By making others fear me through word on the wind, I can greatly lessen the amount of rabble that come up to me, thinking they are capable of toppling me. Are you scared? I am frightening in this form, aren't I? Black sclera, a solid build, and thousands of years of blood-stained reputation. If you fear me, then you will sit in front of me right now. Extend your hand. I have locked you to me. Until I figure out what is an appropriate punishment for you, little mole, you are to stay within my vicinity. I look forward to spending time with you. Oh, have I woken you up, little mole?
Why do you look at me so? Do you think me incapable of an appetite? For your information, and you can write this down, I am incredibly voracious. Especially during times of peace, when there is no battle to unsettle me, I naturally crave other sorts of violence. <laughs> Don't keep staring at me with your teeth chattering from fear. Go. Call for my concubine. You will stay and watch as we copulate. You will learn what I like and what I dislike. It should be fairly straightforward, all things considered. And if you learn well, perhaps I can make use of you yet. Yeah. I see. So the campaign hasn't been going well. It seems even they are having a tough time containing that sea monster. A war. Yes, I think now is the time. I will go. You can settle the other matters, Bosatius. Take up arms where I left off. I could relegate it to someone weaker, but I would feel that Leah is in safer hands when you are the one in charge of it. With regards to the sea skirmish, I will end it once and for all. Good. I will see you. <sighs> Come here, little mole. You understand what this means, right? I will be away. And time has come for me to decide what I want to do with you. Initially, I figured I would keep you around to do menial tasks. You've been good and obedient thus far. I wasn't expecting the sea battle to become so involved. And for me to have to wage a war. Personally, it was not in my cards. But now, we must part. And I must make my decision on you. Hmm? You have something to say. This is uncharacteristic. It may well be the first time I have ever heard you request something. Go ahead. You have my permission to ask. Do you not understand the gravity of this situation? I do not war in minor disputes. I will be away for decades, centuries, perhaps. I cannot keep you. I know you have grown attached to me. From the way you act, I can tell you had a cruel master before. I've met many of your sort. 
I understand. And so, I have not treated you unjustly. But now, you know too many of my secrets and plans. Not as I do with anyone who knows too much. I must eliminate you. I must. <clears throat> do you not reject my advances? Do you feel incapable of doing so? Or do you desire me, darling one? Do you desire what I can do to you?